Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're talking about a new altimeter from Alti2. A uh, few months back, you probably recall, we had the pleasure of having uh, Jens Gronemeyer, the CEO of uh, Alti2, here in uh, in our location at Shooting Star, to talk about the new things coming for Alti2, the, what upgrades they're coming up with and all that. And uh, also the uh, presentation for the new Juno 2, which is an upgraded version of the previous Juno, uh, which was a... Um, carbon fiber 3d printed case uh, but it's basically your entry level digital altimeter the new juno 2 has new electronics built up from uh, the ground up as well as all the uh, electronics from the altitude digital range uh, like the altitude atlas the uh, mercury uh, jade and crimson uh, digital uh, audible altimeters so uh, let's open the box and see what it's all about Okay, here it is, Altitude Juno. Let's open the box and see what we find. So here's uh, your altimeter. It's on because I just pressed it and uh, turned it on, but it's uh, usually off. And this is what it comes with. It comes with your hand mount, which uh, basically you have to uh, put together. It's a finger loop. So this basically goes like that. And that way you can wrap it around your wrist and through your fingers. Then you have your pull up cord, charging cable, altitude stickers and goodies, and your warning paperwork, which has to be uh, in everything we buy for skydiving. So let's uh, let's have a closer look at the altimeter. Okay, so what is new about the Juno 2? The Juno 2 now comes with this aluminum casing, which uh, is uh, way better compared to the uh, previous model that had that um, carbon fiber plastic uh, casing. This, uh, you can feel it's a little bit more sturdy. You have the improved USB charging with the USB-C port, and you get about six to eight weeks or longer on uh, on a charge. So it's... Um, it's gonna it's gonna affect your pocket too because you don't have to spend a, uh, money on batteries. So you just charge your altimeter and you're good to go. Uh, so that's that's a plus uh, compared to others uh, other altimeters out there that you you know have to constantly change batteries. Uh, you have these raised pushed buttons as you can see them there, so they're really easy to access uh, compared to uh, other models. Uh, so and you can feel them; they're really 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 raised there. You can see that up close uh it is water resistant not waterproof um the atlas would be the waterproof version uh this one is water resistant it does not log your jumps it uh, only records your last jump and the data for that last jump uh so um right now it is on alti mode so this will be the um once it start registering uh pressure changes this will uh, just change to al the register altimeter uh, or altitude and um, then you see the digits is the the, the altitudes have the uh, la largest digits of all of the uh, digital altimeters out there so just keep that in mind uh, so let's uh, change the screen and if we go to the menu and here you can see your basic information you get your battery life uh, you get uh, date you get the temperature you get the time you go to the menu you can access uh, the logbook, which in this case is just your last jump. If you click the center button, there are no available logs. So this is empty. So click the center button back again. You go back to the menu. This, you scroll down, up and down. And that's pretty much it. Uh, you have your retroluminescent display if you're in case you're jumping at night or late afternoon. You're going to go back, keep it pressed, and then go back to Alti. If you don't press this, if you, let's say you're in the, in the ground, you're packing, and you get up on the plane, it as soon as it starts registering pressure changes in altitude, this will go into Alti mode automatically. So you don't have to do that. And that works for every uh, uh, altitude digital visual altimeter. So you can, the display, you can, uh, uh, you can set it for 24 or uh, 12 hour formats 
uh, date and time. Uh, it's uh, you can use a U the U.S. or international uh, format. Temperature also in Fahrenheit or Celsius. Um, your speed, you can set it up for uh, miles per hour or kilometers per hour. You can use it this way. You can flip the display or use it that way. So you can configure that and use it either way, whatever you like. Super easy to navigate the menu. I mean, you just go go to whatever you want, log administration, and you just set your, uh, your, your next jump number. If you get this, let's say you have 500 jumps and you get this today, you set it to 500 and then it starts counting from there. Uh, and that's how it works. So if you go, let's say if we were log in the log administrator, let's go there. So here you can see, it will give you your next jump, um, then your free fall time, canopy time, and it, it will display that for just one jump. Remember, this one doesn't keep track of all of your jumps compared to the Atlas, okay? So it is really, super easy to operate compared to other altimeters. Uh, so I love that. Thumbs up Altitude for keeping that interface super user friendly. A lot of people ask me about the size of the altimeter. So I am going to give you that right now. So that is the length of it. This is in millimeters. This is 61 millimeters in width. You can see it's 42 millimeters. And the height of the altimeter is 12.7 millimeters. This is an Atlas II. This is a Juno II. So you can see they're kind of similar in uh, size. Um, the Atlas II, remember, this is a dual altimeter. You can use it either on your wrist or on your hel inside your helmet as an audible. But this is your basic digital altimeter from Altitude. I think they knocked it out of the park with this version. And uh, if you're looking for something easy to operate, basic altimeter that will do the job and it's rugged and will have great battery life, Juno 2. So the Atlas 2 and the Juno 2 are available at shootingstar.com. If you're looking for your next digital altimeter from the most basic to the most advanced, we got them in stock and ready to ship. See, I think they nailed it this time with the uh, Juno 2 because if you're looking for a entry level digital altimeter that gives you your uh, ratings that will keep track of your last jump and give you all the details uh, of that jump and then let's say you're logging your jumps with uh, an, an, an audible which has a logbook or whatnot or if you simply want something simple and basic i will definitely go with the juno 2. the interface and it's so friendly to configure set up right out of the box you have great battery life uh, and the awesome customer service that uh, it's known for, uh, that Altitude is known for throughout the years. So I would definitely recommend going with the Altitude Juno 2 if you're looking for something basic or if it's your first altimeter and you'd rather have something digital compared to the analog. So you get a better reading below a thousand feet. Obviously with the, uh, the digital, you get that. The analog is kind of hard to read because you have little notches in between the five and the zero and uh, let's say a thousand feet or 500 feet with digital altimeters you get better readings definitely uh, so i will definitely recommend this to anyone that is starting out in the sport and getting your first altimeter the juno 2 would be a great choice if you like this video please hit the like button subscribe and hit the bell to get our latest notifications thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one